Okay, welcome new moon festers. So this video is for you today because you are a badass spiritual bachelorette or boss babe who runs her business on bliss and runs her twin flame partnership like a well-oiled love machine. Now that is what I call blissness. Okay, so you may have heard that we have two eclipses this month and that January eclipses will set the tone of the entire year. So if you are ready to manifest abundance with optimal levels of love, pleasure, ease, do listen to this astrology and energy forecast in full to prepare for the first eclipse on the upcoming powerful new moon in Capricorn with partial solar eclipse, which is at 15 degrees in Capricorn coming up tomorrow, January 5th. But first, I'll share the general astrology so you can get prepared. Then I'll let you know some exciting announcements Jack and I have going on. We'll then dive into the blissness energy updates for you entrepreneurs. And then I will wrap up with a juicy twin flame energy report so that you twinsies can maximize your soul connection and pleasure this month. Ah, deep breaths, general astrology. Finally, the general astrology is somewhat positive due to the harmonious fixed star Vega in its alignment. Thank you, goddess. I know that it's been a little rough over the past few months. Vega is a massive pale blue star in the Lyra constellation, and she has a positive, joyful, creative, and magical influence. Wahoo! This lunation is a great time to set and write down your goals. So if you missed us at the free new year goal setting workshop that we did yesterday, then do make sure to do some goal setting on your own this week. Before we go any further, what I'd say is perhaps what is most important about this January 5th new moon is that we're not just getting a new moon. No, we're getting a partial solar eclipse and we have three periods of eclipses this year. The first is in January, then July, and the final one ends in December. A solar eclipse is so powerful because the moon darkens the sun and its influence lasts for around six months, whereas a moon's effect lasts around just 28 days. Eclipses are always influential as they often deliver transformation that sets our lives in a new direction. Eclipses can also carry somewhat of a destiny, destined events. So keep your fingers crossed, child, that you have some good karma here. This particular partial eclipse sits between Saturn and Pluto, which has some negative energy often attached to it, but because it's sextile to Neptune and is influenced by Vega, this eclipse will have a balanced and overall positive and light feel. Whew. The first trimester of this year will have a high energy feel and we will be guided to move around taking action. And I know that Jack and I are in the midst of selling our belongings. There has been some chaos going on. We are moving to the tropics in Bali. And I'm hoping that this gorgeous beloved of mine will put a baby in my belly soon because we have had our star children calling us. What are the big changes and moves that you are seeing flow into your life? Please post in the comments below. We and your tribe would love to hear updates. During the first three months of the year, you might feel pulled into a new path that aligns with a new sense of power. Take action and listen to your gut. Another quick mention is that 2019 is a number three year and from a numerology perspective, this is all about self-expression. Are you ready to express yourself in every aspect of your life this year? The solar eclipse January 2019 astrology will harmonize with the energy we'll be experiencing during the January 21st lunar eclipse blood moon get ready because we are going to have three consecutive blood moons in a row over january february and the last one finishes up right on the spring equinox march 21st 
which is where we'll be doing a twin flame activation on a sacred site in Bali at Mount Batur, where there is a galactic portal and light city, as well as the Gaian chakra or earth star chakra of Mama Earth. Now, before I share these really exciting blissness and twin flame energy updates, we also wanted to share about what Jack and I, plus our twin flame tribe, are going to be up to on this third blood moon. This is our fifth retreat in Bali, and we'll be gathering a tribe of committed twin flame divine feminine goddesses of love who are ready to align with their feminine power and their twin flames. It's happening from March 17th to 24th in Ubud, Bali. And the final of the three blood moons on the equinox is the day we'll be doing a ceremony from the hot springs, Mount Batur and Lake Batur. And these are a sacred site to Dewi Danu, the goddess of the lake, who is regarded as the provider of irrigation water in the form of natural springs in times where 660 million humans are missing clean water on this earth right now and our water systems are getting clogged with impurities that we don't want this divine feminine gathering is for women who are not only ready to manifest their twin flame but who are also working as water bearers and healers of the planet's womb Retreat Pray Love Bali 2019 will speak to you if you're ready to awaken the sacred waters of the earth as a high priestess. You are here to swiftly attract and keep your twin flame, your ultimate beloved, the pleasurable way. You're here to tap into your divine feminine energy without being too open or vulnerable to what you don't want. You're here to awaken your sacred sexuality so you can become naturally magnetic to your beloved and become more magnetic to anything you wish to attract, such as high paying soulmate clients, opportunity and synchronicity. The retreat is also designed to help you reveal your full feminine power in a safe, sacred space with your sisters. You'll get to participate in deep healing work in a tribe of badass single spiritual women for seven full days. This retreat is also for women who are ready to celebrate and rebirth in body, mind, and spirit with organic vegetarian food, massages, raw chocolates, spa treatments, holy water bathing rituals, and relax in a beautiful villa with tropical gardens in a paradise-like setting among the smell of Bali flowers, incense, and goddess essential oils. So if you're imagining you're on this journey with us and you feel like this is a healing activation in itself, just to tempt you a bit further in Bali, we will stay in the setting of Eat, Pray, Love for seven nights and days, just an hour from the Balinese, the Bali airport, Den Pasar. And this is exactly what I did to manifest my twin flame after over three decades of seeking. We'll be doing twin flame activations, psychic meditations, divine feminine readings, channelings, and a self-marriage ceremony. We'll be doing womb clearing rituals that are so profound, spa self-love rituals every single day. We'll even design your self-marriage ring and make a deep prayer to heal ourselves and mother earth. <sighs> we'll also be drinking activated crystalline spring waters and eat some of the most delicious, erotic, tropical, abundant, organic, vegetarian food to stimulate your senses. There's so much more. And if you are interested, click the link below and you can register for the early bird rate that expires at the end of the month. So make sure you check it out for a steep savings. I'll be sharing more about this at the live new moon ceremony that we're going to do tomorrow, January 5th at 5 p.m. PST. And you can also check the links below to register for the new moon ceremony. It's complimentary, a global goddess gathering to set your goals just for the next 28 days ahead and get an activation there as well. So... With the blissness energy updates, this is a powerful time due to the partial solar eclipse. Blissness is a term, if you don't know already, I've invented for you badass boss babes who refuse to do business in a boring, ho-hum, businessy way. 
You're a goddess who prefers to do blissness from your highest pleasure and your divine flow. I know it's not always easy. We live in the matrix, but the good news is that this lunation has the biggest influence coming from Vega. Vega is that positive star and she gives us her love and her joy. Vega is supposed to give out artistic talents at this lunation, but there's also a little bit of a detrimental effect here going on. This boost in creativity could be a time of distraction, maybe a little bit of structure loss, but if you are kind of a superstar at work and you've got a lot of organization, this could be the perfect boost for you to get that artiste going. You might wanna do a website rebrand, get some new colors going on, let that feminine energy flow. But for those who are hippie chick priestesses who don't have a lot of structure, Vega could derail your flow altogether. So now would actually be a good time for those women to speak to a business coach, to hire an organizer, to do the deep decluttering work that I've been doing all week, selling all of our stuff, getting ready to go to Bali and go minimalist, get your structures in place and figure out what really works for you and serving your clients. Or in some cases, you may be that structure, that mentor to set your clients' structures in place, focusing on grounding that masculine energy this month. Vega can sometimes make people critical, abrupt, reserved, and unpopular. So if you're a boss lady with a bit of a bossy side, you might do better to take some breaks to breathe and do your best to lighten up this month. The solar eclipse conjunct fixed star Vega is also a good omen for starting or expanding a business if we can keep things light. Saturn sextile Neptune brings financial gain from your spiritual pursuits. So you light workers who take action with a solid and sensible approach with proper business systems, you should expect financial success. Saturn provides discipline and determination to fill our duties obligations. So start with a to-do list and get cracking on things that your business needs to grow Make sure you prioritize because this will stabilize your business and get you results so you can then bliss out. So make sure you take action. One of the best things you can do right now to ground your goals for the next month is to click the link below and register for the complimentary new moon ceremony we'll be doing tomorrow. All right. Lastly, ladies, Twin Flame Energy updates. This lunation is coupled with a double hit of cosmic energy and I don't want to leave anybody out ladies and gentlemen twin flames so we have a double hit of cosmic energy due to the partial solar eclipse so it's a perfect time for some powerful new year's goal setting in love and relationships Capricorn's lunar energy is about deepening love for the one you are with so with the mountain goats energy of cap it could be a great time to go on that mountain getaway vacation weekend with your beloved or at least go for a grounding hike together and if you're single you could do this as a self-love retreat or even that self-love hike meditation since it's a new moon in capricorn Here's what you might want to bring to the complimentary upcoming new moon ceremony that's happening tomorrow is work with some of the elemental energy of the earth. You may wish to bring a pot with a plant in it with some dirt representing the seeds that you're planting for the new year. The colors to wear or bring would be strong earthy colors, orangey reds, grays and browns, anything earthy, earthy, earthy. Gemstones such as garnet, agate, amber and black onyx. I always loved garnet as a girl because it's my birthstone. I am a Capricorn. Flowers, pansies, orchids, my favorite. Carnations, cyclamen, and geranium. Essential oils to bring to the ceremony, tea tree, ginger, lavender, rosemary, eucalyptus, chamomile, lemon, sandalwood, patchouli, to name a few. Lastly, my beloved, you'll likely notice greater empathy and even telepathy with your twin flame, your crush, your karmic soulmate, your twin flame counterfeit, any of the above can bring deeper understanding that goes beyond words. Group activities and spiritual meditations will inspire you to reach a greater level of pleasure, understanding, and fulfillment. 
Like I said, we'll be doing a Capricorn new moon partial eclipse activation tomorrow. So if you feel called to awaken your 2019, starting with an awesome Lady Lunar Vibe circle, then click the link below. This partial eclipse lunation is a great time to express your more caring and vulnerable side to others by serving coming from your open and vulnerable heart, even if it's a little messy. This will also likely increase your self-esteem, release any hiding, shadow energy, allow your ego to fall away some more, and increase overall joy, connection, and satisfaction with your community. All right, sister, I hope you've gained some gems. Feel free to comment anything that you learned today from this video. Again, we'd love to hear what you're working on the beginning of 2019 and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at the new moon ceremony and you can check out the Bali retreat at the link below as well. It's been my pleasure assisting you on this new moon and Capricorn update. I look forward to seeing you manana. Namaste go.